This is embarrassing. He was, he was some racist white guy. So it was completely opposites attracts vibes, except he was kind of rude to me when we first met. Like last year we started talking, started talking and then, you know, magic happened. But then her twin ruined everything because she asked me out. First crush. Okay. First. Wow. Uh, who? The name. You want a name? Okay. We'll just call her G or something. You know. Back in uh, primary school, I was like year four, I believe. Red hair. She wasn't really, you know, all that. But I have a story to why I, I think I must have. Uh, I must have liked her. And um, I was about to get jumped. Two brothers. Someone comes from behind me. And my boy picked up the other one. And then I was. And the guy was. He's got his ginger hair, you know. So somewhere there, you know, along the lines, uh, I think I started, uh, I started liking this thing for my class, you know, and she was redhead too. And I was like, you know, okay, oh. Ooh, Kim Kardashian, it's gotta be. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, it's gotta be. That ass, bro, <laughs> dead set. <laughs> you know the song, um, Love is Wicked? You know, the, the two singers from um, Love Is Wicked? Yeah, 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 I would say that was my first crush. They were bad. Yeah, there was this girl back in high school. You know? Yeah, she used to play netball. Um, yeah, she always looked on me. Uh, I, never saw her, I never saw her after that. Remember that show Charmed? Do you ever watch, like, it was like, witches in it? Hey, you know. Hey, now tell me who, straight away, who's the one that you had a crush on, bro? Alyssa, bro, Alyssa Milano, bro. Like, Google that shit, fine. She's still bad now. Anyway, my bad. Some girl, her name was Olivia. It was in like um, primary school. What was it? What do you call it? I don't know. Uh, Catholic school, yeah, in Sydney. Yeah. No, I'm a, I, I had it for it bad. So, my first crush came a little bit later. I was 17, I believe. He was a little bit older than me. We just met through school and just like general friends and stuff like that. He was a bit more of a, like a recluse, didn't really talk, and I'm just probably the opposite scale end of that. So it was completely opposites attracts vibes, except he was kind of rude to me when we first met. Didn't really like me, I guess. Didn't like my vibe, my personality. I think just because it's such a stark contrast. But after we, you know, talking, hanging out and stuff like that, he opened up a bit more, became a little bit more receptive to my openness, I guess, because he's more of an introvert, extrovert. Uh, didn't really work out, but I guess, I guess that's life. I don't really deep it too much. Um, my first crush, her name was Brooke, and I was in love with her for a long time. And then I kind of ditched her, which was pretty mean. Uh, my prep teacher. Because I went to an all boys school to start off with, but the teacher, she was like pretty hot. She was like tall, thin, long legs, like a model. And once she picked me up, that was like the highlight of my primary school career. <laughs> like, no, look, we were in year two and we had to draw each other as like an activity task and he refused to colour me in brown. <laughs> and eventually I told on him, I told the teacher, like, this guy's racist. And the next day he came to school and he bought me flowers that he found in the playground. And rather than like, you know, rejecting this guy, I had a crush on him. <laughs> That's what kids do, though. Like you're three or four? Yeah, we had something pretty good going, you know, like, we'd like hold hands by the swings and shit, but, um, but then one day I came to school and she was with another guy. And I mean, hey, that's just the way life is, <laughs> you know what I mean? You win some, you lose some, bro. But, um, but yeah, that made me strive to be better today, so that's what's up. I don't even know, bro, <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't know. Maybe my year three school teacher. Yeah, it's very specific, isn't it? Yeah, I remember Mrs. Thompson. <laughs> 100%, 100%. It's gonna be weird. Elmo from Sesame Street. Well, it was mainly the Cookie Monster, I think, but the Sesame Street characters were just like religiously playing and I had plush toys. And they were just there. And they're like puppets. That's why. 
It's weird. So, um, yeah, I went high school with her, year seven. Yeah, I liked this girl, but I never could pull her because I was too ugly back then. Like last year, we started talking, started talking, and then, you know, magic happened. I'd done the, yeah. I had another girl I was talking to, and she was at my house. And I didn't know, but we were close like that. So I rock up to my house, I'm walking down, and I see the girl. I'm like, oh, shit. So anyways, they see each other, I'm like, yeah, I screwed up. And they were talking and I think they knew what was going on and then they stopped talking to me like a week after and then, yeah, so that was, that was my story. I actually don't remember her name, <laughs> but yeah, she was pretty cute and I was crushing on her. My first crush was actually a wigger, <laughs> so he was not black, he was a white guy and <laughs> he was hanging out with the black people, so like he had a little bit of a quick war going on like this, <laughs> so but finding out, he actually had a, his best friend actually liked me, but he didn't tell me, so I didn't know, so he was a wigger, basically, <laughs> but he was with it, so you know, but then I got over him because I think he went to jail, <laughs> so I didn't represent, <laughs> yeah. Uh, before first grade prep and I was in love with this girl it was like grade five grade six I can't remember her name but I was obsessed with her yeah her name was Maddie she was very pretty yeah and I, I, just, I remember like getting in trouble for like uh, trying to hit on her teachers were like you shouldn't know what that is that's like strange but yeah, I watched a lot of South Park and so it was in kindergarten yes he was the fastest boy that's why I really liked him but he was also really smart and he almost beat me at a spelling bee. And so that was rivalry, if you will, an enemy to lover. In day school, I think, you know, like, like child thing, you know, like, see, the same class, you know. My first crush, uh, her name was Amy. I was 12 years old and I was obsessed with her for like two solid years. Still hurts. My first crush was when I was nine years old and I was watching Peter Pan and I didn't actually know what I was feeling. I wasn't self-aware, so when I had a crush on him, I was scared of him. Like, I was afraid of what I was feeling. But then I worked it out later. <laughs> Is it judgment free zone? Real shit, or like, my, my, my cousin Loki was my, 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 my cousin? But it was like when I was young, you know? Like, that was when I was young. But right now, like, obviously pulled up and stuff. But I was like when I was like five or something. Who was it? I probably won't say his name just because I feel like a lot of people might know who this person is. I don't even know how it came about, but he kind of had like a bad boy behavior to him. You know how they say girls like bad boys sometimes. But yeah, he was like a little bit of a bad boy. Sadly, he also went to jail for a little bit. Um, but yeah, so had a crush, didn't work out and kind of just let that fall through. Yeah. I feel like a Zim chick back in high school. Like, you know, she was like, pretty thick at that, you know how, you know how it is, how it is. I sent her a note in class, you know the ones like you have uh, the yes, no, like we go out me and that. Got her one of those, yeah. Then I met up with her in her, in her house and that. And then one time, yeah, like the brother came in and it was just real mad crazy. So I had to like jump the fence and after that, goes to her bro, legit, goes to her. It was back in year three. I moved to my primary school in term four and she was just, yeah, that was my first crush back in year three. But then her twin, Ruined everything because she asked me out. <laughs> and then it finished, uh, finished the scenes with uh, my crush, yeah. Spider-Man. <laughs> I was like a huge Marvel fan when I was young. I still am, but Spider-Man. I wanted to be like one of the girls that he could swoop, you know? So, yeah. <laughs> my first crush was definitely in year three. I lived in the Middle East back then. I was in Qatar and um, it was a little Qatari girl. She had like caramel skin, so I was like, wow, I think, I think that's the one. This is not the one, by the way, but. It was the one back then. Probably back when I was like six years old, like when I was in, still in Dublin. Arwen, actually, uh, blonde hair, blue eyes. Uh, she was with, like five or something, girl next door story. Uh, I asked her when I was young, I used to ask girls, uh, hey, will you marry me? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, and I had a shed at the back of my house. I was like, the shed, you know what I'm saying? I go to my, uh, go to my house, grab the fake little flowers and shit, bring them in the back. And then one of the friends, one of the bridesmaids, go back. And that was my first recovery. I had my first kiss, my first crush. It's amazing. Yeah. Hey, look, I actually had to think deep and hard about it, but I honestly think it was a celebrity. And it was year, year six, and it was Raheem Sterling, only because. He was like the only like black person that I really ever knew other than my family. So I feel like that was the only option I had. Um, I was going to say a guy from primary, but I'm going to go over the celebrity crush. Um, and it was Sierra. She's hot. She knows how to dance and sing. 
Uh, I used to, be, I guess I used to be around a lot of girls since a young age, so probably a girl from uh, primary school. But that's the only one I can think of right now, but she used to be on the opposite school. We two primary schools in the same yard, so I used to hang out with the girls from the um, other yard because they were hotter, I guess, yeah. Okay, so we were talking about this a little bit before. Um, I couldn't really remember my first crush, but I thought of a celebrity crush as well. And I don't know if you all know, I'm sure you know, but Shaggy. You know, it wasn't me, Mr. Lava Lava. That was my very favorite crush. I bought, he was my first, my age is showing, but his, my, his tape was like the first tape I ever bought with my own money. And yeah, I love him. And I actually got to meet him a few years ago and I told him that, so that was blessed, yeah. I don't want to replicate people, but yeah, it was also a school, school teacher. Uh, my first crush was in year six. Um, really regretted that one because he stood next to me and like broke down and cried. He like really hated me for some reason. So yeah, <laughs> not a good crush. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, okay, so I had to think about this one. So I was born in Ghana and I lived there for like five years of my life, right? And back when I was like, you know, three, four, you know, them, <laughs> them kids that would come around to your area, you know, coming to get some food. Yeah, like them, probably a guy probably called Kwame or something um, <laughs> that you would take around to the back where the chickens were, you know? a little hand holding. Yeah, that was probably one of my first crushes. Just one of the boys that used to come to my hands. So yeah, great first crush. <laughs> when I was back in America, I lived there for a bit and there was a really cute surfer guy and that was my first crush from high school. So you know. <laughs> it's a long story, but I'll try and shorten it, right? Yeah, so I had a huge crush on this, um, this guy in primary school. I think we were like grade three and he was in probably grade five. And I don't know, he doesn't even talk to me, but he just, cause we have really like really close classroom and he just walks walks past and he just smiles at me. I'm like, I'm like, oh my God, I think I'm in love. He graduated and I was still in grade um, six when he was graduated. And then basically we didn't, haven't seen each other for a year. And then when I went to high school, I, and then I met him again. I thought the fate was trying to put us back together. And I honestly thought I was gonna marry this guy but he doesn't even know me, so. But yeah, that was my through my primary school to high school. Yeah. 